Hi guys, in the previous episode I showed you I bought this infrared controlled toy car in the charity shop and we're going to swap the receiver because none of my infrared transmitters talk to it. Either last year or the year before, I was buying identical little cars that were actually radio controlled, uh, 27 megahertz, and I was buying them because it was a cheap way of getting hold of the 27 megahertz transmitters, because they were selling them for about four pound ninety nine, and they're lovely little cars, nice rubberized wheels, they work fine. There's our infrared sensor. And there's our infrared controller. I won't throw it away, I'll keep it, but it's not much use to me. So we got battery negative, battery positive, steering motor, drive motor. It's actually written on there, as usual. F for Freddy, B for, oh sorry, F for forwards, B for backwards, L for left and R for right. I've just had one of those ideas. Before Christmas I ordered myself this proper hobby grade radio control transmitter and I haven't tried it out yet. I wonder if we could do a little um, little modification to this one and convert it to full hobby grade radio control. Got a little ESC there. That one has a break. So I'll solder this connector directly to the motor. Right, what we can do about the steering. The other thing is it runs off three AA batteries, which is only four and a half volts. I don't know if that will be enough to drive the receiver. We might have to do something about that. Right, steering. We're going to need that plastic cover, but we want to see if we can link up a servo. So, 
move the steering arm there. I've taken the bits we don't need out of the steering there. We do still need this plastic cover to hold the top of the wheel. Uh, what do we call those bits? Well, those white bits that the wheels are fixed on. But somehow or other we want to get the servo down in there. So I think I can probably just cut out the middle section of that and we'll be able to get the servo in there. I've cut the top out of that plastic section, squeezed the servo in there, hot glued it in place. So it can sit back there. Now I need to bend a paper clip to link it up together. Before I fix the servo in place, I've just soldered connecting leads onto the existing battery position so we can try and use the three AA batteries. I've just drilled a hole in there so I'm going to use a bent paper clip to go down through there, come across at an angle, and go into the servo horn. Right, I don't know if we can actually see in there. But we've got steering. We're nearly up together. I just gave it a very quick test and I need to reverse the wires on the motor. So I'll do that and then we'll try it out. Just squeezing it all inside. I think we might have a problem with the servo touching the top of the bonnet. You can see it's a multi-purpose body shell again. That's the hole for the aerial to go through for the radio control version. Right, I'll just saw that out to give us the space. Well, that's done the job. I just trimmed, well, you can't even see it, underneath this plastic. And that's given us enough space to get it up in there properly. So I've wired it through the on-off switch so we can still use that. And we're using the three AAA batteries. <laughs> 